In this video, we'll see the view tab of file explorer. Suppose if you want to customize the view according to your requirement, you can use it. Let us see that. Now first thing is I'll open the file explorer. So I'll just click on this file explorer here. Okay, that's a file explorer view. So on this place, if you see, I have a view tab available and there are so many options on this view tab. Let me open some folder. Let me open some drive. Let's say I'll open this PC. In that PC, I'll open C drive. So in the C drive, I have list of all the folders and now I want to play with them with the respect to view. So if you see, I have this options, quick access, OneDrive, this PC, libraries and network. So if I go to this navigation pane, okay, and if I click on this navigation pane tick mark, so you see the navigation pane went away. So there is no navigation pane here. Navigation pane is used to navigate to different folders and files. I'll go back to this pane, I'll say as navigation pane. Remember, we are in the view tab. In that navigation pane, if you see, I have this libraries. Libraries are again place where you can store folders and files. I'll click on this show libraries. So libraries folder will be gone away. I'll bring back show libraries and see the libraries folder is back again. If I expand this libraries folder by clicking on this button here. And if you see, I have documents, music, pictures, videos and so on. These are the inbuilt library by Windows 10 operating system. And you can see that. So I'll just minimize that. In the navigation pane, again, I have this expand to open folder. When I say expand to open folder, so the folder will be expanded and all the folders will be available. This PC a drive will be expanded and you can see all the folders are visible again now. I'll just minimize it. In the navigation pane, again, I have show all folders. So now all the folders in all the sections will be maximized. So if you observe here, desktop has been maximized. I'll minimize that in this PC has been maximized and so on. So most of the portion will be maximized in this place. Okay. That's all about the navigation pane. So next we have something known as preview pane and details pane. So if I click on this details pane, observe what will happen on the right hand side. I'll get the details about the object I've selected. So if I click on this place, if I select any folder here, I'll get details about that folder. So if I select this desktop, so I'll get this date modified availability and so on. So all the details about that folder, I'll get it. If I don't want this details pane, I can just click on this details pane and it will go away. Okay. So I'll just click on this details pane. Now, similarly, if I want to see this preview pane, okay, on the right hand side, I can see the preview. Right now, with respect to folder, you cannot see any preview about that thing. But in case if you have a video file, a image file, any document, you can see a preview of that. For example, if I open this IBM RDNG, if I open this folder, I want to go back now. So I'll click on this place. If I open this folder, Suppose if I open this PowerPoint presentation, I have just click on this place and you see, I can see the preview of that. Okay. I can see the preview of that. And if I just keep on scrolling down, the slides will keep on moving. The slides will keep on moving. So I can see the preview. Similarly, if I click on this PPT, the presentation that is organizing requirements information. So you see organizing requirement information. I can see the PPT is one by one. I can see all the slides. So this is a preview pane without opening the file. You can see the preview here. It might be an image. It might be a video file. It might be a presentation, word document, anything. So all these things you can see at this place. I'll come back to my windows C folder. Okay. Windows C drive here. That is all about the preview pane, right? Now, if you see the set of folders, which I have, they have organized in a proper manner. Okay. Now this is the layout. What type of layout do you want? Do you want larger icons, smaller icons, medium icons and so on? So what I'll do is I'll just keep my cursor at this place, extra large icons. So you see the icons have become extra large here. So these are the icons, extra large icons. If I say large icons, so these are the large icons again. I can scroll, I can find out the icons. So remember the main definition has not changed. Only the presentation has changed here. So I'll just click on this medium icons again, small icons. These are all the small icons. This, if I click, it will show the list of this 
folders but if I, I don't have the details about that folders so if I click on this details I will get the list along with the details that is date modified and the type of folder or the type of artifact if I click on this tiles if you see that's a tiles given here and so on so different types of folder layouts you can see in this view tab itself right so right now we'll be using the simple one that is details now if you observe here carefully all the folders are sorted in ascending order like D I P and all like A to Z if you want to sort into the descending order you can just click on this heading itself you can just click on this name heading now they are sorted in descending order all the folders similarly if you see on the right hand side that's a date modified now the date modified it's neither sorted neither you know ascending or descending so if you click on this date modified it will be sorted in the ascending order okay if you want you can just again click on that please so it will be sorted in the descend ascending order again right this is the ascending order if I click again this will be the descending order again so this is how you can sort into ascending descending this is the shortcut method I will show you a long cut method if you see that's a current view and that is sort by sort by name sort by date modified and the type right now if you see these are not sorted by names they are sorted by the date modified if you want to sort by names you can just click on this names part so they have been sorted in ascending order all the names again okay similarly you can choose the options whichever you want from this place right and also you can select whether you want ascending or you want the descending order right you can select the options from here next is you have some other options like you can group by the name the date modified and so on also you can work on adding the columns right now you have this name column you have something named as date modified type and if you want you can add one more column by just clicking on this place add column and you can say as size so size of the column is empty blank there's nothing in this place because folder size is not never shown the file size zip file size you know pdf video file size of those are always shown at this place right and see this one size all columns to fit now if you see this column has taken maximum space if i say i want to auto fit this column that means the space which is blank here can be removed and it can be auto fit by just clicking on this size of all columns to fit now you see the space the maximum space it will take it is capturing the remaining space it has been taking out so that is nothing but size of all columns to fit and there are a few options here given like item check boxes so right now if I select any fun file or folder okay that's it so I cannot have a checkbox here if you want a checkbox you can select item check boxes now if you see I have the check boxes here that means I can select multiple files at the same time using this check boxes if you don't want you can just select this option and the check boxes will go away next is file name extensions I'll open one folder and uh, I'll just go back I'll show you one folder here yeah this folder and I'll open this folder again now if you see there are some extension given as practice file 1.doc pptx and so on these are the extension if I say file num extension I do not want I'll just click on this place okay and the file name extension have gone away there is no file name extension only the file names are given if you click on this place you know file name extensions also will be given so this is only for file name not for the folder extension a file like word excel powerpoint notepad and so on they have multiple extensions you can see from here now I'll go back to this place uh, I'll go to this C drive yeah in this place now the last one it says hidden options hidden items there are some folders or files which are hidden do you want to see that so if you want to see that you just click on this hidden items so if you click on that you see these are the hidden folders the color of the folder as compared to other one are changed if you see these two folders this folder this folder they have another another color itself and if you see there are few more folders here those are hidden folders which are not easily visible here so if you click on this hidden items the folders which are hidden will go back this is for yes and no if you click on this it will be visible you see this folders if you click on that again it will go back away 
right so these are the options which are given here right so i hope you able to understand how do we use the view tab of our file explorer and we can make our customization so that the folders and files will be visible very carefully or you know in a better manner itself i hope you have understood that's all for this video